Hello everybody, Blue here with Clear Analytics. Today I'm going to show you how to use your own custom groups. Let's go ahead and get started by logging into Clear Analytics. Now today we're going to be working with data from the AdventureWorks 2014 products table. The products table has about 250 or so outdoor items for sale. Now within the database, these items are categorized according to various features. We have panniers, pumps, tires, tubes, cleaners, helmets, etc. But what if we wanted to slice and dice the data according to our own descriptive groupings? Well, that's where custom groups comes in. Using the custom groups features involves first and foremost creating a configuration file like the one I've whipped up here. Now, column A maps directly onto an existing column in the AdventureWorks database. Columns B and C are my custom groups. As you can see, items like pumps, tires, tubes, and cleaners have all been grouped under the category of maintenance. But pumps, tires, tubes, cleaners, helmets, locks, and lights have all been grouped under accessories in column C. Let's go ahead and load our configuration file into a clear analytics custom group so it can be leveraged into a report. We're going to navigate to the clear analytics repository right here. We're going to go ahead and from the drop down menu select custom groups. Let's go ahead and click the new custom groups button. All right, let's start by giving it a descriptive name. How about adventure works products groups. Now, in order to load our configuration file into Clear Linux, we're going to go ahead and click anywhere within the data, select all, and click the update button. Next, we're going to map our existing column, the column that already exists in the database. Uh, we'll call this our key column, column A. We're going to go ahead and map that onto the column in the database. So let's go ahead and hit this toggle switch right here. And in the field map column here, you'll see an ellipsis button show up. Let's go ahead and click that, and you're going to navigate to the equivalent column in the database. So let's scroll down. We've got a product subcategory, subcategory name. Now, Clear Analytics lets you set the default value um, for any, uh, any items that we might not have uh, referenced in our custom groups here. We can go ahead and tell Clear Analytics to give it a default value. So let's go ahead and um, call this other. And we'll call this other. Now that we've loaded our configuration file into a custom group and designated a key column, we're going to go ahead and save this custom group so we can leverage it with the query into a report. So let's click Save. We'll get this out of the way. We're going to navigate to the Report Explorer in Clear Analytics. All right, let's go ahead and make a brand new report under Private. We'll click the Add Report button. Let's give our report a descriptive name like AdventureWorks Products report and let's navigate down to the query with our data and that's going to be a and w products right here we'll check that off and similar to the last step we're going to click the ellipsis right here now if we had made any other custom groups related to our aw products query we would see them here but we only made one so that's the only one that's available let's go ahead and check that off and click ok let's go ahead and click save and run the report now, after we've run this report, Clear Analytics will have taken our custom group and our query and married them together. And we can see those results by navigating to the Results tab. Now, let's go ahead and make a new sheet. If we expand the tree down here, we'll see a brand new node called Mappings right here. And if we open that up, we can see our custom group has been included in this report. Let's start by checking out what a table looks like. We're going to go right here and drag this table off into here. Now the first thing you'll notice is the custom groups we made are highlighted in our field selection list. Let's go ahead and organize this so that it makes sense. Let's go ahead and click apply. All right, let's expand this outward. Okay, now as you can see, we have our custom subgroup one and custom subgroup two. And if you scroll down, you'll even be able to see where we put the other as the default here, here, and here. We didn't address wheels in our configuration file, so Clear Analytics has gone ahead and labeled those as other. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a pivot table next. So go over here and drag pivot table. So uh, as you can see, our two custom groups are available as selections for the pivot table. Let's go ahead and drag down the most granular product name right here. 
And then above that, we're going to put the uh, category that came with the database and drop that right there. Then we're going to drop our more general custom subgroup above that. And then our even more general custom group right here. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, let's grab that. Let's go ahead and drop our uh, list price right here. We'll give it something that makes sense, like uh, maybe average. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this outward. All right, now as you can see, we have our products in a pivot table in a hierarchical grouping according to our custom subgroups. So we have our accessories. Within that, we have our attachables and maintenance, which are groups that we made. And then we have our cleaners, pumps, tires, and tubes, which are the groups that came with the database. And uh, from this point on, you can slice and dice the data however you'd like using our custom groups. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll have some more on the way in just a little while.